Hey guys, what up? Kardaka here, and today I'm here with another Nenroid unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing the Yusuke Umareshi Nenroid number 1221. And this is a new one that came out this, I think, la this this week? Last week? Some, somewhere this month. And it's retailing at 4,727 yen. Pretty nice. I also got a new X Acto knife, so uh, I'll be using this from now on because I lost my old one. So let's check it out. So Yusuke is the first of the Yu Yu Hakusho Nenroids. I'm not sure if they'll release more. I really hope they at least release uh, Kurama and also Hiei. Because those are my favorite. Kuwabara can also get one. I, I don't really care too much about it. But if they do release the Kuwabara one, I'll probably get it because I need to come to the set. And maybe a Genkai one too. But let's look at the Yusuke the main body of Yusuke. So he, oh, so he has a lot of accessories. I actually really, really like how it looks so far. For the price that you're getting it for, it is a little a little bit more expensive, like 300 yen more expensive than a regular Nenroid, but from what I see, the, uh, the accessories are a lot, a lot better already. So let's take out the parts and see what is up. For a lot of you guys, you probably haven't even heard of this show before if you are not a 90s kid because this is it's, it hasn't really had much um, screen time aside from some jump clap games but yeah let's uh, have a look so this is Yusuke he's not a super movable Nenroid which is good because since he has flesh arms it'll look kind of weird if they gave him joints so I'm pretty happy about that Let's look at his hair. His hair is pretty accurate to him in the anime and manga. And there is a green gradient happening here. Give me a sec, let me turn the light on. All right, might be a little bit better like this. So there is a green gradient here. Pretty good. The pants, it's just blue. I think they're... There's a little bit of shading on there, so that's nice too. So yeah, overall pretty good. Got nice articulation in the leg area there. Not too much, but enough. And yeah, he's uh, actually not. There's actually not too much detail with him. I guess there's like little folds on his shirt and stuff, but that's it for the main Nenroid. Pretty good overall. So also on the first blister, there's also this accessory. I forgot what this is called, but it's kind of like the mascot of Yu Yu Hakusho. Fairly, fairly cute. And we also have his other hairpiece. So this is with him and his hair down. I'll probably display him with his hair up because that's more iconic, but this is also nice. Let's actually try it on. Here he is, put his hair down. He looks a little dorky with his hair like that. Definitely prefer it with this. But after a long fight, his hair will probably go down, so. But. All right, so here is the first of his effects. So this is the Spirit Shot Gun, I think. This is effect for the Spirit Shot Gun. Pretty cool. Pretty good. I think you can use it with different, with, for other Nenoroids too. Um, use it kind of like exploding effects and whatnot. Pretty good. And you also get the ray gun effect. So this is him shooting the ray gun. Yeah. Uh, if you have, if you're an SHF collector, you can use this kind of as a mini Kamehameha blast, I guess. But it's pretty good. It looks pretty nice. I, I quite like this. I think I like this more than the SHU Figure Arts ones, but there's that. So that's for the first first blister. So this is the second blister. And just take it out like 
that. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, so let's do the ray gun pose first. Actually, we gotta take his hair, put it back on, put the normal one back on because he looks better that way. And let's put that here. So we're gonna do the ray gun pose first because that's probably one of, his, one of his most iconic poses. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That looks really good. I will probably be displaying him like that because that it's just too good not to. And he, are, he has additional legs. Honestly, like Good Smile could have gone late, could have, could have been lazy and just given us super bendy legs, movable legs. But in my personal preference, I, I, I do prefer getting an extra set of legs first instead of having a super movable leg. Because it just looks better. Like if it looks better without the joint. And yeah, gotta get that stance for the ray gun. Yeah, looks really good. I'm I'm loving this nanoid so far. There's definitely no problem with it off the top of my just first look. So let's have a look at the face plates. So here is his angry face. Here's his silly face. This is probably ideally used after a long fight, and then you're gonna use it with the hair down face, the hair, hair down hair piece. And then we also have. Let's take this out. He also has his arms like this. So kind of like this, he's getting ready for a fight. So probably gonna use closed fists for these. I should have done this a while ago. Yeah, so look, look like that. Yeah, this is just really good, I think. This might be in my top five favorite nanoroids for this year. Wow. I definitely wish they are gonna release CA and Kurama. I think Kurama had an announcement. I, I don't remember. I think it was announced last year or something. I don't know. Maybe it's already up for pre-order and I pre-ordered it. I don't, I don't remember. I have too many nanoroids pre-ordered right now. But let's actually do one last thing before we wrap this video up. I want to actually Try out the effects and see how they look. So underneath the second blister, you have two pieces for the joints for the effects. Uh, let's try the ray gun first. Okay. So it'll just look a little something like that. Uh, actually, wait. Probably fast forward this part. I guess I'll take this th these arms back away. But yeah, remind me to make a list of my top ten favorite nanoids of the year at the end of the year because it's definitely gonna be a, it's definitely gonna be an interesting list. And even though I I love all my nanoids, I don't love them equally. Sorry, that's just the truth. Uh, okay. Oops. All right, here he is. I guess it looks like that. Probably a little bit better, but you get the idea. It's a little bit slanted. But that looks really good. That looks, I, li I really like that. 
And for the spirit shotgun, I'm guessing it's just gonna look like. I, I think you can do different ways to do the ray gun too. Uh, you can just ways, but yeah. Just put that there. Let's see if it's let's see let's see if it's uh, the the stand is good enough to support the weight. And yeah, it looks like it is. does a good job at supporting the weight. This is a little bit too long for my taste though. I'll probably use the smaller one for both the effects, depending on how I pose it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this Nendoroid review, guys. Uh, 10 out of 10 Nendoroid. I really, really like this. Definitely don't see any problems with it. Um, I'm, I'm examining it as co close as I can and there's no paint defects or anything. Everything is very, very good. Uh, yeah, Good Smell just knocked it out of the park with this Nendoroid. Definitely really good. I don't I don't remember what else, what other Nenorite I got this year that is also probably on par with this one, but there's there's probably one or two. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely, I'll be I, I'll I'll be getting the Zanx's Nenorite next week. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll open it though because I haven't opened any of the other Katekyo Hitman Reborn Nenorites, so I'll probably put them in their box for now and then I'll unbox them one by one. Maybe as a group unboxing or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Karataku, and I'll see you guys next time.